Number 31 says, how long will it take for the arrow to reach its maximum height to the nearest tenth of a second? As you can see, the work that we did for the previous question is still on the screen because in the process of doing the work to the previous question, for the previous question, we actually got this answer because we want the time that it will take for it to reach its maximum height. That is, as we found out earlier, that is the X coordinate, or in this case, the T coordinate of this vertex. So we already found that by doing the axis of symmetry, all this stuff. So we found that's 100 over 9.8. So let's get that actual value here. And you can look in the previous video, uh, episode 30, to see how we tackled getting the axis of symmetry in the first place. So that gets us 10.2. We want it to the nearest tenth of a second. So that'll just round to 10.2 seconds. So as I said in episode 30, this is a way to approach the question where you don't need any physics knowledge. There is a way to approach this with physics. For example, you might know if you've taken physics that at the maximum height, the velocity is zero. The object stops temporarily at that split second at the maximum height so that it can then turn around and go in the other direction. Um, so that is essentially uh, the insight you can use or one of the insights to help you find the answer. Again, that's only if you had taken physics, you might know that. There might be other ways to do it, either mathematically or physics, so feel free to comment in either episode 30 or episode 31 with uh, other ways to do it if you know of a better way, a faster way, or just a plain old different way. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.